Hey y'all, I got some uh, special axes here I got done for uh, Mr. James Groves. They're nice. Uh, how well you can see them, because I can't see them. Yeah. There's some nice axes. First one is a keen cutter. She got the patina. This is a Killinger utility grade red elm. Kind of bulky, but. I think this is a B grade Red Elm Killinger on this big triple B. Bingham's the best brand, Cleveland, Ohio. Well, that's patina is pretty too. I didn't use no metal wedges in these. Just to prove that I don't have to. <laughs> I put the metal, the metal wedges in my own for sure, every time, just because I know I beat the snot out of them. These were ground on pretty bad with like a side grinder or something. I tried to get most of it out of there, but there's still a little bit of it there. They're sharp. I need a 32 inch handle. That's a nice one. That's like a four pounder. Heavy act. This is my favorite. <clears throat> this is a top grade A or whatever Killinger calls them. It's just top grade Killinger Adirondack 32 inch on a Sager chemical 1949 pretty axe too. That handle is beautiful though. That hatch just feels good, boy. You can just, yeah. That's a dandy. Funny thing is about this axe, I've been looking, I've been looking for a 1949 Sager. That was the year my dad was born. I've been looking for a while. And the day I finally found one, it wasn't just absolutely outrageous. I found one. And I bought it on eBay. <laughs> the very same day. I had no idea James was sending me a 49 Sager. I knew there was a Sager, I think, in there. But the day the day I found one and bought it, one showed up in James's box of axes. Pretty crazy. Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful handle. That axis feels good. James, James, thank you very much. Because James gave me one of these handles too, one of these Adirondacks. Thank you, James. I'm going to put my 49 Sager on it. There they are. I'm getting ready to box them up and ship them back to James. Hopefully, I get a, I'm happy with his wild thing here soon. I'll get it sent to him too. Okay. So, Lynn, y'all take care. Later.